the last week. We're set to go. In fact, we're underway. Big battle in the middle. It's going to be two. With Lysette versus Draper. Parrish got a, a hurried handball. Fantasia straight in there. There goes one yeah. jumper very quickly. I don't reckon uh, Big Draper will mind too much. <laughs> <laughs> Just an off-the-shoulder number. Well, it was a good little show of intent then from Draper. He's going to go and change the jumper now. Does he need to? Well, the umpire told him to. Well, I suppose he needs to be recognisable to the umpires from a number point of view. Stronger stuff. There wasn't much in this. Ripped very, very easily, didn't I hope he's entitled to get a new jumper, come back, and they, and they hold the game up for that. But it doesn't look like that. No. Peter Wright straight into the ruck. Well, set got the tap down, Burn Jones and Butters, and here's Fantasia straight away. Probing ball. Dixon can't get on the... Oh, yes, he can. Oh, yes, he can. So it didn't take long for Mick Charlie. You can see Nick Hine there at the at the back of the stoppage. He just let him waltz up into the middle, and that means you're going to be uncontested, basically. The ball fell to him, and he had space to run and carry. In the launch zone, to get it up to full forward. Can the Bombers do something and attack Noah Lear? That's got to be 50, does it not? No? I think... They've Reimagined as a, a lockdown defender, number 15 for the Bombers. They're looking very dangerous at the moment. It was last year for 11 goals, six. He tended six centre bounces last week, so he's starting to become an on baller as well. But when you've got such class around the sticks, you might as well use it. The line, pretty much in a straight line, Let's and go, just kick through it. So, in actual fact, it would have been the perfect kick for Charlie Dixon, who probably would have. Charlie did a good job, but he just no. couldn't quite complete the tackle. Bersma with the probing ball. Francis gets the mini win. Their hands were great. Were absolutely superb. That is just, just fall short. Maybe Francis to be able to keep it in. Last year or in recent times. Dylan Shield kicked two goals last week. So that was a, a positive for them. Dangerous tackle. Dangerous and Andrew tackle. McGrath also scored a goal. It's getting really difficult for players now. I mean... That doesn't Is look that right? dangerous. Left boot prepared to take the chance. Too strong on the kick. Dersma and Cox. Dersma was ready and waiting. Slings him to ground. Play on the call. And Bokes got into a dangerous position at half forward. And there was port players everywhere he looked. And Orazio Fantasia takes the mark. And around he goes. That'll make him feel at home. Except... Couldn't quite curl it back enough. Well, I think he just got a man, but once he couldn't handle it cleanly, it meant there was more options down the ground. Gray on his feet straight away, and Georgiard is kept on coming. He wants to be part of his team. A late inclusion. He's kicked one already. has here, I mean, Port Adelaide are, are quite sport for choice, really, that they have a young, tall like Marshall who can go out of the side and then be replaced by a player like Georgiades, who we've, we've been really encouraged so far in his... Dixon was on the move, but it was a longer target. And the umpire... This is for four goals without the Bombers being on the scoreboard. Georgiades has got two. He's had to be patient as well. Bangs it up for Dixon. Francis did well. Laddams. Oh, big guys. Not just in the air, but off the ground as well. Oh, they're coming from everywhere. Ten inside 50s to two. Eight clearances to two. Four times as many uncontested possessions. Twice as many contested possessions. Right doing the ruck work. Shield. Right, just jammed it on the boot. At least gets it deep. Hooker. I mean, you mean top, top Mac, make the most of this opportunity. To score, they need to score a goal, and he's able to work that through as he did last week and pop it. Thomas, you get a chance to go forward. Yep. Lear's back there, right? That's a towering mark from the big guy. The one goal last week. Oh, can't afford to miss opportunities that are a lot quicker. Langford was lined up perfectly positioned there. And watch it flight back towards the top of the square. Right, oh, almost for Shield. Took two early goals last week. Of any uh, opportunity, McGrath, but it was... Oh, look at that from Houston. That was on a platter. That's for six goals, so... Hasn't kicked a big bag full yet, but he's on his way today with a couple of goals. 
And Port back out to a five goal. Really special things, but that was a bone crunching tackle. He approached that full chested, opened himself up. He's a really then, tough then locked it in with his yeah. legs. He's a really tough kid, but I think that's why we're seeing the, these kicks, particularly to the fat side of things, sending Langford on his way. Mark, clear out. So we don't tip him what he's got up the ground a bit today. Oh, it's 50. Against you on the side, protected area. 16 disposals. He decides not to take the shot. Having the jumper, that should be a free kick if you grab the jumper and pull the player like that. He took everything that Devin Smith had and he couldn't quite get the journey. But there is a free kick. Uh, you called it, Jace. He got he, sucked into that. In the end. With me. With me. The handoff. Shield. Oh. The idea was right, Niggle going between them. In actual fact, he's to his wrong side, he's got the pace to get away. Burn Jones yeah. won't give up, but Shields smooth moving. Oh, it could have been a free to hook yeah. up a high contact. He fought through well, game limit, McDonald tip and Woody. It doesn't look great off the boot. And it allowed Jones to spoil. Minus 12 in quarter three as that game went turned completely around against Hawthorne. So to be able to do that within the quarter, It'll be, it'll be a small step, but they're still a good distance behind as we get into the action here at the start of the third. Eamon got his hands clear. Dersma was given the luxury of a bit of time. Out to Drew, the up and under ball again. Francis trying to get there. Got there with the fist on Georgiades. Motlock tackled immediately. As you heard, the determination of the umpire was knocked out. Good running from Gleeson. Late inclusion, if you just joined us, Dyson Heppel are laid out for the Bombers. As we talked about, Mitch Georgiades coming in for Todd Marshall for Port Adelaide. And that can spell danger. Aim on to the top of the square. Tossed right up. Good timing from Caldwell. Well. Boak. Has he taken the chance? He got mighty close. Represented back there, as you would expect. Dixon circling. Well, they fought amongst themselves in some ways then. Drew trying to get it back to the outside. Amon had a good chance to have a look. And from Amon corner, he's put it through. So it, had, it had to come. When you're, when you're dominating territory like that, eventually something has to happen. That hooker wasn't far off. McDonald Tip and Woody had time. Oh, wow. And used it. Quick answer. Oh. And again, the, just the value on being able to win the ball from that part of the ground and get into to even numbers. Just took enough time to settle himself so he could launch into the kick. And it's a free kick, an advantage. And Houston is another weapon for Port Adelaide. Although he doesn't go long, he tempered the kick for Charlie Dixon. Just 50 metres to negotiate. Sounds easy. And it is, if you're Charlie Dixon. Oh. Oh. And Drew in the perfect position. 11 game career until now. Had to watch on last year. Unfortunately, he doesn't make the most. It's close to the line. And stays in. Langford might turn into something. Hand. Towards full forward. Watch out! Oh. Boys, the danger with the tip and woody hit there, like Dangerfield last week. Any sort of bad luck, head clash there. He's head on the ground for the whiplash effect after he's bumped. Well, they're on again. Giorgiardi's to Butters. He's got Fantasia ready to receive, but instead he puts it on the chest of Adams. Two goals to one so far. Guilt edged opportunity for Peter Lambs, which he doesn't waste. Kicks his second. I've just succumbed to the weight of numbers now. The Bombers of inside 50s. That one had to go the length of the field, though, coast to coast. Already up to that 36. Boak kicked it forward. Fantasia! Oh, he's missed. Oh, he wanted Kept on going. Farrell. Oh, it's them forward again. Dixon a presence. They crash in. Winds. It's forward and it's Motlock this time. The lead at halftime against Essendon is 46 points. They lead by 49 now. 
Depth on the kick. Wright doesn't quite get there. Free kick to Hooker. Oh, shit. Hooker. It's on its way. It's a decent strike. Fair to say that was desperately wanted and needed. What Ben Rutten's trying to do now with the young defenders. OK, we're, we're going to position them there. We're going to let them fight it out. Carl, Carl Hooker is going to be our, our beacon up for. Not the connection he would have liked. Hunted down by Bergman, and he is captured immediately. Well done by Cox, but effective. Snelling, and again, they just stay ahead of the game. Now's kick is tossed up, and it should be marked by Langford. Top four in the best and fairest. A young leader from Essendon who needs to convert. The rare opportunities given, and he makes good on the kick. A decent enough kick as a junior. So... This has got to go all of 55 metres. Oh, he got a piece of it. But he drifts across in the off hands. Getting scored against oh. makes it very, very interesting. Oh. Adams. Only brought it down. Both, but oh. suddenly they're in a threatening position again. Gray just had to wait a moment to receive from Farrell. But look at this. There's players everywhere. If Port Adelaide are going to challenge players like Steve Motlop, they want to be there. He's kicked two. He's playing his part. Good footy, Harry. On your line, Sam. Jones with a set-up kick. No one could really take off, but it didn't. In his career so far, but this is a critical kick, which he can't convert.